Okay, so you might have gotten a palette that looks something like this in the mail, and then you got probably one brush. So I'm going to show you real quick how to use your four shades on your face. I've already done my skin regimen for the morning, and I've already moisturized and primed my skin. I'll be using the 3D brush, and I'm using the bigger side to start into first, the contour shade, which is the dark ashy brown color. And I'm just going to be kind of going about three strokes in. And then I'm just going to go from the top of my ear down to my lips and I'm going to stop about halfway through. And your contour shade does have coverage, so just apply as normal. I'll be going up here along my hairline and then as well under my jaw and the same for the other side. Now that I have my contour on, I'm going to use the smaller tapered end to go into my brighter highlight shade. I'm going to apply underneath my eye and on the outer corner of my eye. Then I'll be going into my main highlight shade, which this is the color that should match your skin tone the best. And I'm just going to kind of just plop it on, on my beard area, over my mouth, and in my T-zone. Last but not least, I'm going to apply my lip and cheek to the apples of my cheeks. And now you might look a little silly, but that's okay. We're going to blend it all in. I'll be taking the bigger end of the brush, and I'm just going to start with the lightest shade. And I'm going to kind of bring this up on my nose so I have a little bit of product on my nose. And then out this way towards my eye. And I like to put a little bit on my lid. Then after I've blended in my brightener, I'm going to go to my main shade and just stipple this on. And if you have blemishes like I do, you might have to come in again and just spot treat. And I'll show you how to do that at the end. Go into the T-zone area and down the nose. Now, if you struggle with any sort of acne, blemishes, scarring, anything, you might need to come back in with a second layer and spot treat at the end. So as you can see, this guy needs a little bit more love, which is totally fine, but I'm still going to finish my makeup and then I'll come back later. So I'm going to go into my blush color, my lip and cheek, and I'm just going to kind of blend that up into the contour and make sure that this is blended well. The beautiful thing about all of these shades is that they're all cream, and so they all work together, and they just blend seamlessly. So now that everything is blended, now this is the time where if you need to come back and spot treat, you totally can. So I'm just gonna use the tapered end again, and I'm gonna go into my main shade, and just get a little bit of product and spot treat wherever I need a little bit more extra love. This is the nice thing about it being buildable is then it's never going to feel cakey or heavy because we're doing a light amount. And then we're just spot treating those troubled areas that need a little extra love. Now that everything has been spot treated, the last thing you need to do is just put on a little bit of your lip and cheek color on your lips. And I just like to use my finger. And that's how you apply your 3D foundation with just using four colors. Now what you can do to finish this is you can use a setting powder and just set your face with a powder, or you can use a setting spray and your makeup will last all day. If you have any questions about your 3D foundation, obviously reach out to me, message me, text me, whatever, and I would love to answer any questions that you have. I hope you have a beautiful day.